What's up you guys? It's your girl Liz and today I am back with another Mortal Kombat costume ranking video and today I will be working on Kitana. I love Kitana, I adore Kitana and she's usually my go-to girl uh, in every Mortal Kombat game so I don't know maybe it's the fans, maybe it's the blue, they're both beautiful combinations. So let's check out Kitana. At number 26, we have Kitana from Mortal Kombat 2. Now, I mean, um, from a costume maker perspective, from a cosplayer who loves to do Mortal Kombat cosplays, this is a little bit boring for me. Uh, nothing too memorable. I mean, I love the game. It's one of the, one of the best Mortal Kombat games in the world. The absolute best is number nine. Um, <laughs> uh, but honestly, like, I love her and everything, and I like the, the fans and all that kind of stuff, but costume-wise, I feel like it is pretty basic. At number 25, we have Kitana from Deadly Alliance. Uh, now, you know, uh, I feel like this is a little bit cooler than MK2 version. Obviously, um, it's a few games in and they've upped the ante with costumes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I like the hair and everything. Um, again, nothing too memorable, but uh, noticeably different. At number 23, we have Mortal Kombat Gold Katana. Now, um, I've always loved this outfit. It is obviously a little bit more on the sexy side, but it works and I really appreciate it. Um, this has always been my style uh, of the one piece that I like the Mortal Kombat girls in. And um, yes, yeah, so this is definitely very stunning and I love it. Yeah, girl. Yeah, she's awesome. At 22, we have the Mortal Kombat 9 alternate skin of Kitana. Uh, now, there are lots of things that I don't like about this, but there are, you know, small things that change the costume a lot. Now, what I'm trying to say by that is, I really like the long loin, you know, covering the backside and those really funky arm pieces. Like, that looks very... Uh, princessy like it looks very unique and it's not something that you see very often in many game designs at all um, so I, I really enjoyed that part of it um, everything else is not so good in my opinion and yeah I don't know I, I don't like that like Aladdin's Jasmine style hair too much um, with this look do you know what I mean like I feel like it no no it could have been it could have been a little bit more different so yes I'll leave you at 22 at number 21 we have katana from shaolin monks now um the one piece suit of this is probably the most unique design i've ever seen um it is you know like again the parts from the mortal kombat 9 alternative like the covering the back part and the beautiful arm pieces would look so crazy in this outfit if that makes any sense love the shoes i love everything else you know like the butt exposed part is not a big problem um but it could be uh more professional and more unique if if i were to combine those things together i i genuinely think this is one of the sickest outfits uh, in this one piece suit um but yeah just just almost almost all right you guys at number 20 we have katana's day of the dead look from Mortal Kombat uh, Mobile, the mobile game. Um, it is extremely Mortal Kombat 10 original design, just added with a little bit more pieces, but I, I like the lacy little bits and bobs that they've put on it. It does suit her, it looks fantastic, the face paint is also really cool, and um, yeah, I, I, I like it, I like it. I, I kind of really like the grey leg pieces as well with the black accents i think it breaks it all up and it looks absolutely fantastic so i like it i like it i like it at number 19 we have mk vs dc's katana now i feel like this is what they were trying to make shaolin monk's katana look like i really really do except the blue is not as um popping you know it's more like a baby blue which is not very katana but love the one piece suit i love um the design of that i like it a lot the only issue i have again is like the blue is not quite royalty 
blue, you know? Um, but again, I love that her hair is tied back in this one and it's just like what Shaolin monks uh, wanted to be, which is awesome. I like it. At number 18, Kitana from MK9. Uh, I love it. The blue's not bad at all. The hair's funky. I like the little like jewelry pieces on her arms and on her, like on her crown um and i dig it i absolutely dig it the outfit is sexy it's awesome katana looks um she looks pretty perfect to me uh in this outfit but not perfect enough to get into my top 10. still cool still appreciate it and yeah at number 17 we have katana from mortal kombat 3. now Again, classic game, classic look, dopeness overload when I saw this for the first time. She looks very cool. And again, my favorite type of one piece suit on the Mortal Kombat girls. I love it, I love it. Look at her go, girl, go, get him. Yeah, I love it. Love her, love her, love it. This is awesome. At number 16, we have Katana from Mortal Kombat X Revenant Skin. Now, um, I don't know what it is about this outfit. Maybe it's just her look, or maybe it's just like the craziness of how Katana looks in this version. I mean, the arm pieces, the neck piece, the chest piece, fantastic. The bottoms, not so much. I feel like this could have been better. I think I can kind of see where they were trying to go with this outfit, but it didn't quite hit the nail on the head with this one. So, I don't know. At number 14, we have MKX Jingu outfit. Now, I really love the blue and brown accents in this. The headpiece is kind of really cool. She looks very royal. Uh, and this is the Samurai DLC skin pack, I believe, that there was something like that. Um, so, I don't know. It works. It's a little bit too much at point. I really don't know how I feel about the Goku Vegeta shoulder pieces, but I like that the combination of the back and the front combining to the shoulder piece. I feel like if it was a little bit shorter or if it just had a different shape, it could have looked crazier. Um, but yes, there are there are many things awesome about this outfit, but things that just don't sit right with my brain. At number 13, we have MK11's Regal Authority skin of Katana's. Um, love the classic look. Again, super tasteful, very professional. I absolutely love it. I respect the classic Mortal Kombat ladies uh, always because I love them and they're fantastic and I've just grown with them. Um, but yes, I really like this one and especially with the customizing of the masks, just amps this outfit up even crazier, sir. At number 12, we have MKX's tournament skin katana. And I love this. This is very tasteful, very perfect. It's fantastic. I love the outfit. She looks like a princess warrior, not to be messed with. You know, she's got a lot of class in this outfit, I believe. She does look like a very uh, Edenian, like a very exotic kind of warrior princess. And that's what I can respect and appreciate of this outfit. Um, I love it. The leg pieces, the loin covering her bits and bobs, which is fantastic. And that top with the crisscross I don't know, it just works, it just works. It's, she looks badass. At number 11, we have the MK11 Hermes Katana skin. Now, this is the blood carnum color variant of the Hermes skin. And I guess it's better for you to tell the accents, but obviously imagine this is blue. I do find that it's extremely similar to the original outfit of MK11, just uh, with a little cape and a few of the, um, you know, bits and pieces of the cat suit have been chopped out and skin is visible. It is lovely, it is awesome, but it's not very different to the original MK11 outfit. So, um, yeah, the color combination is pretty cool, but it's obviously not Katana. Katana is blue, so, yeah. But at least we can see all the details that are on this outfit with these two color choices together. Um, it's nice. All right, you guys, at number 10, we have MK11's Pain Point skin katana. Again, very similar to the original version of MK11, but I like the armor pieces going on and I love 
all the little extra dangling fabric pieces on the outfit even though she is wearing pants. Uh, the hair is really cool, the mask works as well, and I don't know, it's very professional and I dig it. I dig it lots. At number nine, we have Katana from MK11 as a Revenant. I believe this particular skin, don't quote me on that, is called Melina's Favorite, and it's because Katana's dead, uh, which is so cool. This costume would have been crazier to me if it wasn't so similar to the original version of Katana from MK11, um, but it's the mask. It's the mask alone that kills me with this outfit. Um, the name in itself is fantastic, and this Revenant version of Katana is absolute perfection. I love it. At number eight, we have MK11's Her Sister's Keeper skin, uh, which is very Catwoman-esque, and I love that, and I appreciate that, and I respect that, because I love Catwoman, and seeing my girl Katana as my favorite DC anything, um, is so dope. Again, it is a little bit copy-paste, nothing too original, because both of them, uh, you know, have their own styles and have their own identities anyway. Um, but I love to see it. And the mask is pretty funky too, like it works, I like it. I feel like I wish the blue was more prominent in this look, uh, but again, Catwoman is not blue, so... At number seven, we have a Daughter of Hell skin. Now, for some reason, I couldn't find a showcase for it, but I will put it back to the blue uh, so you guys can get uh, a better understanding on why I love this outfit. I think it's like the neon stuff and the extra shoulder pieces going on that make it super badass. Again, similar to the original MK11 outfit, but um, that more intense chest piece with the shoulder pieces and those neon glowing bits and bobs on her shoulders and on uh, the skirt area then, I guess, uh, and on her hips are uh, pretty badass and the spiky arm pieces make this outfit super dope also, so I do appreciate it. Um, I wouldn't say she looks the absolute best she can ever look, but she does look the most lethal. So I'll continue so you guys can get uh, more of a vision on, you know, different colors, makes other parts pop more. Uh, and yes, at number six, we have MK11's Electric Edinian. <sighs> okay, so firstly, this is the undead version of Katana with this mask on, uh, and, I, and I like that she's alive. Um, again, I, I don't respect the fact that it's extremely similar to the original version of Katana. Details added on to what we already got. Uh, it's not all that exciting. Uh, but I can still appreciate the vision. Um, so I do want to give this outfit a shout out and some respect because it's still dope. But yes, I love it. I wish it was a little bit more different and a little bit more unique than what we already got. But it's still awesome. At number five, we have Katana's Lost Queen skin. I love this skin. Um, you know, it is more purple than it is blue, but I can really appreciate all the effects going on. And it kind of gives me like Diablo wizard vibes, which I'll, I'll put the picture right underneath my face, right beside my katana, if you get the gist of where this outfit, or why this outfit reminds me of um, Diablo. Um, but I like it. I, I still wish it wasn't dominantly more purple than it was, than it is blue, uh, but still very cool, looks amazing, classy, professional, and princess-like. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the spikes, the spikes is what gets me. That's so sexy. At number four, we have MK11's True Empress skin, Katana. This is sexy. I mean, it's got every aspect of what I liked in the previous Katana costumes. Again, very similar to MK11 uh, original version, but it's got spiky arms, the more relaxed chest plate piece, less intense on the shoulder parts, and her hair. I think it really works that way. She just looks lethal. I like the extra little dangly fabric pieces flowing like it's a skirt, um, you know, on her hips and stuff like that. I, I think it's amazing. And I just, 
I don't know. I, I, I really respect this outfit, even though it is every single costume of Katana's kind of picked and put together into one. Uh, it's hot. It is so hot. I, I love this. I love this. Mm. My loves, we are here at the top three of my favorite Katana outfits. Now this one here is called Endless Summer. It is so sexy, so different, so classy. The Raiden hat looking hat works for me. I think it's sexy. It's a very different way to see Katana in a very different light. I love all the patterns on the outfit. Um, it's, it's very classy. It's so gorgeous. And I love it. I genuinely love it. I give this respect for top three because of the shock factor that I got from how different. I'm like, damn, Katana? You know, so I like that. Yeah, it's hot. A lot of detail. The arm pieces are pretty sick too. And uh, it just looks very traditional. I don't know. It's just awesome. And my second favorite Katana costume ever is MK Levens. Now, I respect this outfit so much because every other Katana outfit in MK11 is just too similar to the OG and it's OG for a reason. This is like, honestly, I was thinking this is where they took Katana extremely serious to the next level, to the most ultimate um, Katana can ever look. She just looks so serious. She looks not to be messed with. She looks experienced. She looks powerful. The blue, that electric blue sexiness is the ultimate for me. I like, I love it. And the, the silver accents with the little armor pieces and decorations on this outfit is also to die for. And I genuinely am um, very, very, very impressed with how much I love this outfit. Um, it's more than what I thought I could want um, for my katana and for my number one katana outfit is the original outfit of hers in MKX now I don't know maybe because it was and it still is the craziest newer MK games I I it's everything I never knew that I needed for Katana for me to actually fall in love with her. Um, maybe also the fact that she plays the best in MKX, in my opinion. Um, but everything about this outfit is just to die for. It's, it's, I'm honestly, I'm very speechless. I don't know what to say. Um, it is just so sexy in all the right places. It's so professional in all the right places. Her hair, the jewels, her shoulder piece, just everything separates and holds their own. With I don't know who made this design, but it is the most unforgettable Katana design in my opinion. Again, I can't get over it. Like the, the hips showing on the side of the pants is one of the sexiest things I've ever seen. Uh, even though right now she's getting mauled by Melina. Uh, but I just, I just love everything about this katana. She shouldn't be losing when I'm talking about number one. But honestly, like really and truly, uh, crazy, crazy katana outfit. Um, I can't get over it. I, I genuinely am very pleased. Every time I think of katana, I think MKX katana, and that's pretty special and that's pretty powerful to me. Uh, so yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it, babies! We got to my favorite Katana outfit. Again, I can't stop thinking about it. I love her. You guys, I hope this video was enjoyable. If you have any other ideas of characters that I should work on next, let me know, write them down, and I'd love to work on them. These videos are so much fun to make. Love Mortal Kombat, love my girl Katana, and more importantly, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, God bless. I will see you again in my next video, you guys. Thank you!